Hi, sisters and brothers. I got some more I'll probably be showing you here um, in a little bit. I'm not good at this. I am not good at this. I am usually just get words from the Lord and do a quick video. I'm not real good at um, looking things up, but I'm getting things left and right uh, the Lord is showing me. And I was about to give up on this, and I looked down on my lap. I had my Bible on my lap, not even paying attention because I've been looking all this stuff up online and trying to get some more things. But look, Zechariah 11, 11. And I was just about to give up, and here's what Zechariah 11, 11 says. And it was broken in that day, and so the poor of the flock that waited upon me knew that it was the word of the Lord. Huh. We're the flock and we're waiting on him. So I, I got to keep going with this and I pray I'm not digging into a rabbit hole. I pray that you all just hang in there and uh, see what I have to uh, find here for you. Okay, so first of all, I noticed um, that that building, the skyscraper, um, fell down and I'm looking at the floor and I noticed that if you look at it, it has like spikes around it only part way it starts from right here and goes all the way to here just like the Statue of Liberty uh, her crown on her head um, I believe that this here is a wave um, I thought it was a portal but I'm starting to wonder is this a huge wave that's coming in um, nuclear event uh, earthquake um, I, I don't know I'm just throwing some things out here and um, hope I can help somebody out somewhere along the line so when I was looking at this um, I heard the Lord say Revelation 3 11 and I'm like oh you're kidding me but anyway it says behold I come quickly hold that fast which thou hast that no man take thy crown so I believe that the Lord is showing me that that is a crown there. And just underneath that we have Jimmy Kimmel. And I just found out what his name means. Okay, so you see that the uh, uh, name at the top in the red is uh name of Jimmy. And this is, I'm online uh, looking at the uh, biblical names here. And it says that... Uh, it is a uh, supplanter. It's a. It's a. Let me see. Let me try and read it. I'm trying to hold this and read at the same time. The biblical baby name of James um, is the Greek version of the Hebrew name Jacob, and it also means supplanter or one who follows. And you can see right here. I looked up the name Jimmy. Okay. Um, oh my gosh, guys! See if I'm wrong on this. I'm just realizing, doesn't this look like, it also also looks like a clock, okay? Is this a time? Just asking. <laughs> I'm just seeing all these things and it's just like popping up here and there. So the Lord is like showing us something and I don't quite understand what it is, sisters and brothers. So if they turn everything upside down, you know, like the Bible says, the wicked turn things upside down, so this wouldn't be the bottom of the clock. This, my friends, is the top. Okay, so this is a picture of the Statue of Liberty from the outside, um, up real close. Uh... I don't know what I'm trying to get at here, people. I'm just trying to lead into something here. Okay, so I'm going to go on a long shot here of something that I was showing a while back. Um, I have been looking at New York, uh, Manhattan for a very, very long time. And I was shown this in a dream, in a vision, um, how it is pointing this way. Okay, I'm going to try and do this best I can uh, with one hand. You know the hammer of the whole earth? Does that not look like a hammer? Or a goat? But, um, I don't know. I'm just, 
I'm trying to put some things together and maybe I'm way out there but I'm just checking guys all I can tell you sisters and brothers is I'm digging and I'm gonna stop for a while I've been on it since 8 30 this morning and it's now 6 30 at night um, I'm gonna stop and pray over this and hope that you're blessed and pray that the Lord will bring us all something I'm sure if this is really that important um, if this isn't a false flag of any sort then he will show us uh, we are one we are with him he will show us I pray that you're blessed if you want um, okay sisters and brothers uh, this is on a lighter note I had to quit for a little bit but anyway I got into Isaiah chapter 13 and Isaiah means Jehovah has saved okay I believe that there's some meaning behind this for the bride um, like a second meaning a hidden meaning and everything that you see in orange is um, what the Hebrew Strong's concordance is okay so if you read it in verse 2 it says uh, just without the orange lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain exalt the voice unto them shake that they may go into the gates of the nobles so if you read it the way I have it and just the underlined words with the orange letters um, I'm gonna try and do this um, best I can here but it's lift ye up to take away to carry away a sign upon thy bare mountain um, rise up the voice or the sound unto them wave the hand like they're waving you to come in that they may go and enter into the doorway of the nobles I have appointed my holy ones I have also called my strong ones for my anger even them that rejoice exult in my rising up so I just thought that um, maybe you guys would like to check that out and give me your opinion on it because it sounds like you know we're talking about uh, to be taken away you know a signal and a sign you know um, the mountain rising up sounding of the trumpets waving the hand um, entering the doorway you know the appointed ones giving orders the holy ones the strong ones I believe um, you know there is a second meaning to this but I just wanted to get away from all the stuff that I've been doing all day and just show you guys that I thought this was really cool this is Isaiah 13 verse 2 and 3 um, it's the only part that I decoded I kind of you know have kids in that and I get sidetracked but check into it I love you all be blessed we know we are going home soon so whatever happens we're safe we're protected we're in the Lord if you're not saved get saved call on the Lord Jesus ask him to be your savior you know um, bow down and, and ask him for forgiveness of anything that you may have done in uh recently in the future or excuse me in the past anything that you need to repent of ask the lord to forgive you call on him to be your lord and savior um it's as easy as that if you want to escape all these things i love you all any questions comments uh you need prayers whatever give me a call or uh write me down below i love you all be blessed